Hi, I'm Tim. Join me in this video as I show you a simple, easy, and inexpensive technique to make surprisingly, surprisingly realistic looking cockpits and canopies for your next project using foam board. The, canop the um, result will look like this. Let's get to it. <music> There seems to always have been a spirited debate on the use of cockpits for RC model airplanes. I think airplanes look better with some sort of cockpit in them, some sort of pilot figure, maybe a windshield, a little bit of an instrument panel. It just it looks odd to me with a model airplane flying without any RC pilot um, in the aircraft. And we know from looking at pictures, uh, going to contests, there are some people that really, really know how to make re incredibly, incredibly realistic looking cockpits for their RC model airplanes. There are even companies out there you can contract with them. You give them dimensions, they'll build the cockpits for you. Uh, obviously, these are treasures, they're masterpieces. But what do we do for our own model airplanes? <clears throat> Historically, when a lot of people were building airplanes on their own, the company called Williams Brothers was a very popular source of plastic um, bus of pilots. There were simple plastic um, devices. There was a front and back for the uh, head of the pilot. There was a um, shoulders for the for the uh, body of the pilot. You glue everything together, put it on a platform in the airplane, paint it as you see fit, and they came out pretty good. I have used them in the past. This is an example of a little. Uh, Williams, Brothers, Williams Brothers bus that I made. They come in various sizes. I think they look pretty good. Uh, I have used them in my Speedy Bee that I can show you right here. I think the cockpit came out very convincing. However, Williams Brothers is no longer in business. Uh, you can find the bus on eBay, but they're starting at like $13 each. I just refuse to pay $13 for one of these little plastic busts. So the question is, what do you do? And um, in this video, I'm going to show you a pretty uh, easy, a very easy, but a very convincing way to make a uh, picture of a canopy cockpit using your computer and foam board that you can try to put on your model airplane. So let's get started with that now. When you're creating something new in life, you always get inspiration from somewhere else that you can build upon that. That's a normal thing. And the inspiration for this approach came from those old dime store balsa gliders. Guilo still makes them where you just have a, a balsa fuselage, you slide it in a wing, you can put it back and forth for aerobatic or long distance flight. And we all you did them when we were kids. They were fun to put together, just chuck them and see how far they could go, a little bit of nose weight. But I always remember those gliders did have a profile canopy on there just printed onto the balsa. So I thought, what if I can expand that approach using images from a Google search on your computer, printing them out, putting them onto foam board, and then uh, using that as the uh, faux cockpit for an RC model airplane. So let's take a look at the um, our computers to find out how we can get that image, how we can reverse that image and then how we can print that out, sizing it. I have an, a Mac, so I use Keynote, PowerPoint, or any other graphics program would use uh, would suffice to print out the uh, cockpit images that, that we'll then uh, glue onto the foam board. We are all familiar with Google, so let's search for, in this case, I'll put an aircraft P-47, and we'll put it in the canopy, um, and we'll pick the bubble canopy, just to be a little bit more specific. We go to the images and let's take a look at something that might make sense to print out that would be a profile side view of a canopy. And here we have two that are really pretty good. So what I do is command, uh, command shift four. That allows me to clip the um, image and copies it onto the desktop. And I'll do that again, uh, command shift four on the Mac, whatever works for Windows. They used to have a clipper program. That'll put that image on the desktop. We can then later grab that and drag it onto our uh, graphics program to print it out. You can also, there's a lot of profile uh, paintings, drawings of airplanes. You can try those canopies to see if that would work for you. Notice there's no pilot in there. Uh, they're typically uh, without a pilot on these drawings. And you can look at another airplane. Here we'll look at a P-51. There's a picture there that might work well. Here's another nice picture of a canopy. We'll uh, clip that and experiment to see how we like something like that. Once we're done with Google, we then call up um, 
Keynote, I'm, I'm on a Mac, PowerPoint, probably if you're on Windows, and we simply drag that image we clipped onto the program, and there it is right there, and we can size it to make it as big or as small as you want for your model airplane project. Here's another picture that we drew in uh, that, that, we, that we clipped that is there, but we'll experiment with this one because you've got to reverse it. You've got to have a different um, uh, reverse to uh, glue onto the other side of the foam board. So with Keynote, we just go to a range and we, there's a flip thing. So we duplicate this right there. We have a second image and we will flip that with this command right here. And now we have the reverse image that can go on the other side of the foam board. You'll see how this works out as we demonstrate on it. So this is the image that I printed out. Notice that it's reversed and it's the length about six inches. It's going to be right for the model I want to do. What we're going to do is um, in the next videos, we're going to cut this out, glue it on the foam board, trim around it, glue it to the other side. <clears throat> and then in an effort to make it look kind of like it's in glass, I'm going to use this um, self-adhesing lam laminated sheets. I just got it off of um, Amazon. And what happens with these sheets is just laminating sheets. You can um, just peel it off here. This is sticky and we'll put that, put this on the side of the pictures to kind of give a, um, an illusion of uh, glass surrounding the cockpit. So let's, let's go ahead and do that now. So here is the foam board we'll use. We've got the reverse image of the cockpits for both sides that fits on the foam board. We'll go ahead and um, cut out one you can use a glue stick. I use five minute epoxy, just something to glue the paper onto the foam board. So I'll put the epoxy on the back of one of the images, let it dry on one side. And that is complete. We will trim the foam board around the outline of the cockpit so we can position the other side properly onto the blank foam board. You see that reverse images fits on uh, nicely as we trial fit it before we glue on this. So again, I've put down some epoxy, a glue stick be fine, just something to hold it to the foam board and position it so it's about right to the outline. This is now done. We can see that it's starting to come along on both sides. At this point, let's Draw a line for a straight line on the bottom that'll fit onto the airplane. Just trim this as you see fit. And then cut away the excess. And here we have both sides with the paper on the foam board. So it's come along pretty well. The next thing that is helpful to give it the appearance of a canopy of glass is to use the um, self-adhesive on the plastic. It's very sticky, so be careful. You put that down. You simply put on one side and then you trim it to get rid of the plastic on that side. And when that is done, you do it on the other side. This is a finished product. You can kind of see from the reflection, the uh, illusion of glass. And because it's a drawing of the cockpit, it really looks fairly realistic on the airplane. The pilot, a little bit of perspective on the canopy bow. You can paint the top to make it black if you want, just to simulate that. So this is the final product. I think it came out quite convincing. Uh, the fact that we're using a drawing for this cockpit adds to the illusion that you're actually looking at the real thing on the side. I, I think it's a, it's a nice effect. And it's on both sides of the model. Also remember, if you have access to an airplane or you're good with graphic skills, you can take one of your own profile pictures, uh, merge that onto a cockpit side view so you could have yourself in the cockpit if you want to do it. But overall, it's a relatively um, easy, very inexpensive way to add a uh, canopy cockpit to your RC model airplane. I've enjoyed doing it and best of luck with you if you do it on your RC model airplane. Mm -hmm.